Welcome guys, it is Andrew here from IDB with Conferro 2. This is a great new tweak that allows you to kind of simplify your notifications, putting them into this little status bar icon instead of on the individual apps. You just tap on the icon, it brings up that little display of all the notifications you currently have. It also can get more involved. If you swipe down on any of the icons, this little window will pop up showing you what that notification is. You can hit open and it'll actually open a little window below that so you can actually kind of view the apps. If I'm looking at reminders, it'll tell me what that reminder is. I can see the reminders app. It'll also work in all these other ones. So if I pull down here on the calendar on the far right, record Conferro to tweet, I can, or tweak, I can hit open, which will open the calendar app right below Conferro 2. I can view my appointment and that uh, schedule that I have coming up. I can also tap on the X in the bottom right hand corner and it will clear out those notifications from that, from that app. Alternatively, instead of just tapping on that little X, I can also just swipe up, like on the phone there, just swipe up and that's it. Those are gone, kind of the second page has been removed now because uh, and you can see there's no longer a notification symbol on the phone app itself. Even though there are those voicemails still there, you just remove that notification. So if we jump into the settings, there's some cool things that we can kind of optimize here other than just enabling or disabling. I can change the amount of, or the color of the blur that is behind the Conferro 2 little window. There is light, which is kind of what you're seeing here. There's dark, which, which is this. And then of course there is the last option, which is automatic. And it'll just automatically choose the dark or light based on the window that you're currently in. So obviously that's kind of what I keep it on for my preferences. Now, because this does put everything into that little icon, you don't need anything on the icon itself. You can hide the badges completely or put these indeterminate badges. These are what I like. So you have four different shapes that you can choose from, starting off with border, which looks like just like this. It puts a little border around the app icon itself. There's also squared, which just makes that top right hand corner squared off. So you just have a little flag going on, really nice and subtle. A little bit more out there is a circle. So you just have a little corner circle on there. I like the circle one a lot. And then there's the rounded square, the square rounded as they say, just another little flag in that top right hand corner instead of the actual number of notifications, which can be a bit unwieldy and not look as good. You can also change the color of that notification. I have mine on red, kind of traditional, but you do have the option to change it based on the app icon and to do it automatically. So it'll kind of pick a partner color you can see on the phone and messages are green and reminders are gray. So they do kind of give you different colors that'll work with the app icon's primary color. Lastly, we have options for the Conferro icon, which is up there in the status bar. I can hide it. So if there's no notifications, it'll go away. And when I do have a notification, it'll show up. Then there's this pulse one here. You can see it right now. It's kind of glowing a little bit red and then it goes away. It's very subtle and I've chosen the color red. You can change it to pretty much any color you want using this color picker here, which we saw in the previous part of this tweak, but you can choose that color and it'll just pulse that color when you're in an app. So a little bit of a subtle way so you can kind of be notified when you have notifications inside of Conferro. So that is basically the tweak. I really like how it puts everything into one spot. You don't have to go through all of your windows trying to find any notifications you have. Of course, it also cleans up your, your desktop a little bit. Like I know my mail is getting a bit unwieldy and to see just one spot with my notification instead of like a three digit number or four digit number on top of my mail, mail icon is definitely something that I like when I'm keeping my phone, trying to keep my phone a little bit cleaner looking. This is also relatively affordable, only 99 cents if you have the original version. And then of course, if you don't have the original version, it is $1.99, so $2, basically to pick up the app from scratch. So if you do have a lot of notifications, this is definitely something to check out. Let us know what your favorite features are or maybe any dislikes down in the comments below. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.